because this it's a great wonderful day for me because this is our and for our team here because this is our first uh, VP calls Giga Hub as we call it in the United States of America. So yeah, absolutely. And we're glad to be joined by a lot of uh, our partners, government partners. Uh, the Consul General from the UK is here. Uh, thank you for being here. Our friends from Hertz are here, uh, right there. Yes, great to hear to them. And uh, so I'm going to hand it over uh, because I don't want to bore you with more topic. You'll probably go on for a bit. Uh, I'm going to hand over uh, to Emma Delaney, who's our EVP, Executive Vice President for VP for Customer and Products. Emma? Woo! Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for uh, joining us here. It's a real pleasure to welcome you all to our home in Houston, and uh, Houston city of giant leaps in space, uh, in innovation, and it's a giant leap for BP today because we're opening our very first Giga Hub in the United States here in Houston. So, uh, celebrate with you all. And as a sign of the times and change uh, in transportation, I probably first came to this campus about 20 years ago, maybe 18 years ago. And if you told me that we'd be opening a Giga Hub here with 24 ultra fast charge points, I think I would have looked a little confused uh, about what on earth this could look like. And here we are. So it's absolutely fantastic to be here. And of course, this is part of our uh, strategy for charging uh, in BP. We aim to roll out 40,000 fast charge points by 2025. 3,000 of those will be here in the United States. We're aiming for 100,000 by 2030. 90% of those will be fast charging. And we're rolling out fast charging because that's what our customers tell us they want. We see in our data that our customers choose fast charging over slow charging, five times more likely to choose a fast charger. So it's a really exciting time to be able to open it here, 24 uh, charge points. I understand, depending on your car, you should be able to charge 10 minutes, 75 miles. So for those of you who are from the BP team here, let's get the feedback coming in to Sujay um, on, uh, on how that's working. So um, we, have, we have big plans, as I've just said, and we couldn't do it without our partners. And, uh, partners, the city of Houston and Harris County, um, our partners in demand and driving demand, our partners in Hertz. So it's really fantastic to have you here. It's great to have representation, as you said, from the British Council as well. Super thank you for coming. Um, and as I stand back and just think about our strategy in BP, it's really over, we believe that the world needs secure, affordable and cleaner energy. And as part of that, we're investing in today's energy system and investing in the energy system of tomorrow. So we're investing in oil and gas, refining, fuels, and we're also, and convenience, and we're also investing in EV charging, biofuels, which will be a big solver, particularly in this decade for heavy fuel, uh, heavy duty trucks, of which there are many here on the I-10 just behind us. Um, but also renewables and hydrogen uh, in time. So it's really exciting to see the strategy coming together because we're really aiming to move from an international oil company to an integrated energy company. And this, I think, might be the very first place where BP Retail Energy, Orlando's team, massive thank you to your team here on the power side, have secured the power for this site. So we know we can be competitive pricing on power. So massive thank you. It's really what we mean by integrated energy company um, in action. Uh, so all is left to say is a huge thank you to the team that made this happen. Uh, because as someone who's worked on many projects across my 28 years of, of working life, when you get a concept of something and to turn that from a concept into an engineering design, into permits, into execution, into all the panic that happens before the ceremony that we're happening that's happening today, and then to get it operational. Just a massive thank you to the to the team that made this come together, and, and to everyone here today. I'm looking forward to celebrating with you. So thank you, Orlando. I'm handing to you. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Sujay. 
And again, thanks for everybody being here and recognizing we have federal and local officials here. We're glad you made it um, to the general, Council general. Thank you for being here as well. Yeah, so to Emma's point, I've been with the company 28 years, all of my career here in Houston, and I never thought this day would come. And uh, when I saw it breaking ground, I was like, this is really going to happen. So um, and here in the city of Houston, and for those that don't know, Houston is home for BP. We have over 4,000 employees here. Um, it's it's a, a big part of who we are. We have more employees here than anywhere else in the U.S. So um, you know, we, we understand the energy transition in Houston. This is the energy capital of, of the U.S. So it's right off the highway. It's going to be a perfect location, you know. Super excited. To Emma's point, we're also committed to the transition in the U.S. In the U.S., it's a super important part of what BP is all about. It's where we contribute half of our capital to the U.S. We have now over 30,000 employees with the acquisition of Travel Centers of America. And we continue to build every transition growth engine that BP is, has. We have that here in the U.S. We've got two big hydrocarbon businesses as well, but we're growing our transition growth engines in all across the U.S., and this is a prime example of that. So the U.S., we have we contributed to over 270,000 jobs. We had we contributed over $150 billion to the U.S. since 2005. So those are just facts for people to take home when they, when they hear, yeah, we are a U.K.-based company, but we contribute a lot to the U.S. So... I'm going to leave it at that. I just want you to go back and, and when you think about what we're doing here, what we're doing in the U.S., we are a major energy partner, energy partner in the U.S. And uh, don't forget that. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Rich. Uh, thanks, Orlando. I'm, I'm really excited. I, um, I've worked with and around VP for, for many decades, too many decades to to be proud of, feeling very old today. Sarah Week is very hard on the uh, on the body. Uh, but uh, I'm really proud to be here today because I, I remember a number of years ago, I think the first charging point I ever saw in my life, I was living overseas at the time, I was visiting London, I was actually walking out of BP's corporate headquarters in London, and there's a charging point right in front of it. I think it's now BP branded, it wasn't back then. And I thought it was a very subtle hint that BP needs to think about um, the electric vehicle revolution that was about to hit us. It was a number of years ago, and they've embraced it with incredible gusto and energy, as you would expect from a company as dynamic as, as BP. So the opportunity to come here today to celebrate the first, the everything's bigger in Texas, and the biggest, uh, and, and, the, and the best, and all of those things is all really exciting for me. Uh, I arrived in uh, Texas four and a half years ago. I did, I just like just like everyone in Orlando, I didn't imagine that I'd be, before I leave, get to, to charge my car at a BP uh, station here here in Houston. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make one more really important comment, and that is, as, as the British Consul General here, there are a few companies that make us prouder to talk about than BP. You do an amazing, amazing job here in Houston. As Orlando said, you're a major employer. You're also a major innovator, and you embrace the energy transition like no other company in the energy world. And it's been an absolute pleasure working with you over the last four years to help spread the world, help spread the word in the energy capital of the world that you can do all of the above in energy, make the planet greener and cleaner while still making a profit off of it. And so thank you, BP, for all that you do. Thank you, BP, for setting the, setting the example. And we hope all of the other companies now follow suit, build a competitive market, and allow me, as the driver of the only hybrid Range Rover in Texas, to be able to charge my car all the way to Dallas or all the way to Austin or all the way to, to New Orleans, because it really is annoying that I can only charge at home. So please, get your finger out. This is the start. Get going. We need more. Thank you. Thank you, Richard, for all those uh, words of encouragement and insights. As well. um, I would now like to welcome um, one veteran from uh, Congresswoman uh, Sheila Jackson Lee's uh, office. Congresswoman uh, Jackson Lee represents the uh, 18th District of Texas. So, please. Woo! 
Good afternoon, everybody. I would just like to say congratulations to Drew Pink Post. And also, I would like to just present this ceremonial document for the first public operational capability of the PP charging site in Houston. Now, therefore, let it be resolved that on behalf of the constituents of the 18th Congressional District, I take great pride in recognizing BP Pulse on the occasion of the first public operational gig of BP charging station. We're committed to being dedicated to help individuals transcend the boundaries of our community and providing energy to the world's needs, reflect the pride that exemplifies the spirit of excellence in the United States. Your efforts are most deserving of respect, admiration, and commendation of the United States Congress. I'd like to present it to the execs and get some pictures. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I'd now like, like to welcome Dr. Ronaldo Guerra from the Harris County Commissioner's Office. Dr. Guerra. Thank you. It's uh, Ray Guerra. I'm not Commissioner Leslie Briones. She couldn't be here, uh, but uh, she is a uh, commissioner, Harris County, and uh, we are very happy and proud of BP for setting up your hub here in Harris County Precinct 4. Uh, commissioner very much wanted to be here, especially she absolutely is very supportive of uh, the region being the energy capital of the world, but she wants to do whatever we can from Harris County's perspective for the region uh, to become and be the green energy capital of the world. So really appreciate your leadership, BP. We all also really appreciate your leadership and subject matter expertise as you will be coming to Harris County and advising us as we set up our EV stations. And I know we're working on the, on the scoping of that initiative now. So uh, very much look forward to that. And so on behalf of Commissioner Leslie Briones in Harris County, we want to present this certificate of recognition. Uh, thank you again for your subject matter expertise and for your leadership. Uh, but no, just to just to say a word of thanks to everyone. And then as I said at the onset, what you see behind us is a Hertz vehicle. Uh, uh, we have a solid partnership with the team at Hertz. Uh, we value that. We value you being here. Thank you very much for joining us and, and being here in this uh, moment with us. And uh, thanks everyone else for coming as well. We will will now cut the ribbon uh, behind us and then um, we'll stick around uh, for a few uh, questions. Uh, all right, thanks a lot, guys. Well, thank you, Ruben. Thank you.